Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Zebra Nation Plays, the FM Scout Academy Challenge with FC Dallas. And here we are in the uh, Western Conference semifinals, second leg versus Los Angeles. We just finished up a wonderful 0-0 draw at home versus Los Angeles. Now we go on the away leg to try to finish this, try to close it out, get the win, and move on to the Western Conference Finals. No big news, no, no changes. Um, I think I'm going to remember to put Uloa back in his box-to-box -box midfielder role. Uh, I kind of forgot to do that after last game, so that could have been some of our offensive uh, stagnation there. Could have been caused by that. We didn't get Uloa up there into the mix, so we'll try that now. But other than that, I think everything else is going to be the same. Uh, yeah, everything else is going to be the same. We're going to control the match, control the ball, uh, same defense, same offense, everything. I'm just going to try to, just going to try to get good, play better. And all we need is like a one-one draw, and we move, uh, move, we move ahead in away goals. So that's basically, basically the uh, the goal here. Is just get a goal, and then hold on for the draw. Hopefully we can accomplish that, not go down early the way we have in, in some matches. I think it was pretty pretty good to hold on to that draw against Los Angeles and not let them score against us, even though they are a pretty offensively uh, proficient team. We really held them to almost no chances, Part, partly our defense, partly our control strategy. Uh... I've gone all season without setting this up, so why start now, right? I just wait for game day to do the same adjustments that I always do. That's uh, efficiency right there. All right, let's start the match. Let's get a move on here. Looks like they got a pretty good crowd here for Los Angeles. Looks like a sellout. Got our little supporters section there in the far left corner. A little bit of, I see a little bit of red and whites. <clears throat> so of course we are in the red jerseys with the white shorts. LA in their all white uniforms. Let's get the steal there. Nice play Zimmerman. And uh, yeah, there we go. Controlling the match. I'd like to see us get a highlight out of this maybe. But if we get a highlight like every 10 minutes, I'm okay with that. You know, because we're, we're wasting time. We're letting the clock run down we're limiting their chances nice steal by pomical settles it down looks like la is they are going with some high pressure so if we can't break that down and this happens too much i think yeah i don't like that at all caught our fullback looks like they have zardes out on the left and oh they moved morris into the striker role they it, they got Morris on a trade from Seattle, so it looks like they are going a little bit more offensive. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to close this down a little bit, and I think... Hmm. Let's go standard. I want to change it up a little bit. I want to... I want to... Um, Hit the ball ahead. See if we can get see if we can get an early goal. <clears throat> I'm not gonna quite go more direct passing, but I just wanna see see if we can use that pressure against them. Oh, they're telling us to do the opposite. Our coaches are telling us to play a short passing game. Oh look out, look out. Oh good stop by Gonzalez. Alright, so we made that change, and they get the first highlight of the game. So it's probably not a good idea, not a good change. Escobedo wins that header versus Morris. Good man, but they send it right back in to Gonzalez, who makes the easy stop. Alright. Alright, they got another highlight here. We're pausing it. We're going back to our control. And we're going to retain possession. 
All right, so free kick legit. Drops it off to Adams. He takes eh, a nice easy shot for Gonzalez to stop. So I think we have to go one way or the other. We have to either shut it down, run our control game. Oh, here we go. Free kick Alcantara. He gets an... Oh, I thought he got another one. Oh, man, that would have made, made my day. Got the deflection off the wall, but it didn't didn't go on target. Oof, Marante just sort of uh, goes up into the dog pile and pulls that one down. Good, good job on his part. It looks like control is working out. We're we we got the last two highlights of the half. Hopefully. Yellow card for Jamie Martin from Los Angeles. Good job. Oh, then on offsides by Johnson on the free kick. So there we go. Scoreless draw. We don't. I don't really want to go into penalties because that's not our. Uh, that's not our strength. But we're playing. You know, we're playing them even. So I think we'll stick with this strategy for now. They are definitely. Yeah, it looks like maybe they've uh, toned back their attack a little bit, or their defense. I mean, they're not quite closing down the way they were. Cole gets dispossessed, as uh, the saying goes. Oh, boy. A lot of tension here in this, this match. Going against the number one team in the league. So it all comes down to whoever scores first, I think, wins. Here's Zardes with the corner. Zimmerman heads it out. Looks like we're going to track it down there. There's Acosta. Gets it up to Alcantara. Back to Washington. There we go. Now we got a little forward momentum here. Their defense is back, though. They are definitely playing back. There's Uloa. Washington. No. All right. That was a good counterattack, though. We got a, we got a shot on goal. Got uh, Washington in front of the goalkeeper. That's what we want. You know, maybe something I'll try. Let me pause pause this. I'll try uh, not working the ball in the box. See if that gives them a little more freedom to maybe um, fire some crosses at Washington. I don't want to get crazy and say, like, you know, uh, make early crosses. I just want to give them the freedom to make those crosses if they want to. Uh, AJ De La Garza is getting too much space, so we'll close down on him. All right, our fullbacks both have yellow cards. They're both a little tired. I think we're going to get. I think we're going to get Cole out of there. I'm going to move Acosta to right back. Bring in Van de Castile and Bailey. Get rid of those yellow cards. Maybe put Acosta up there where he can do some good. All right, 80 minutes. Do I make a change and try to get a late goal? No, I think we stick with it. I think we stay conservative. Made the substitutions we need to make. Stay conservative. All right, there's two minutes to go. Just about end time. Are there any substitutions that I need to make for penalty kick reasons? Well, I guess we'll go into extra time first. But uh, let's see, Ortega's not that great. Nope. Just looking for anybody on the bench who might be a great penalty taker. I don't think we have any options there. No, not particularly. All right, so this is the team we're going to go with. Barring injuries or barring our third substitution, I suppose. Let me check our uh, tactics here. Get Just getting ready for the penalty situation. Oh, boy. All right, so Uloa obviously is excellent at penalties. Then it drops off fairly significantly from there. Man, maybe we should get Ortega in the match instead of Washington. 
I think that's the only sub we could make that would make any difference at all in terms of penalties. Oof. Yeah, we don't have a ton of options here. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not looking good. Put a cost up here instead of Johnson. Hopefully it doesn't get to any of these guys down at the bottom here. They are not looking good. All right, and then uh, I guess we can... I mean, I'm going to sub Washington out, but... Uh... That's fine. Let's start the extra time. Here we go, into overtime. LA starts with the ball, starts with possession. Can we can we dispossess them? Maybe we could get stuck in. But that might just give them more free kicks at this point. You know, it might win us the ball and get us uh Oh, that could have been dangerous. Van de Castile cleared it off the knee of his own teammate. Almost went... Almost turned into a dangerous situation. Injury for LA. That's what I want to avoid is that injury. So I, I think there are, there are two halves to this overtime. So there's first half. All right. Um... Guess we'll start the extra time. Going to make a substitution, our final substitution. Going to bring in Ortega for Washington. Going to make him the poacher. Make Alcantara advanced forward. So we're going to change our offense up a little bit. Not going to have a target man in there to send the ball to. We're just going to try to send it forward, maybe score a goal. Hopefully get out of here with a win. It's going to pause. Well, let's see what this highlight is all about here. Pomichol to Zamora. Uloa. Guys are looking a little fatigued here. Not, not many runs being made. So our youngster Bailey, who's in the match, get it to you, Loa. Can you get it out wide to Acosta? There it is. This could be, this could be something. Sends it in. Oh, offsides, Alcantara. Come on. All right, so we're gonna pause that. Instruction-wise, I'm gonna tell us get a little more expressive. Get stuck in. You know, just to add a little bit of flavor to the attack. See if we can get that last goal. Here they are with a highlight. Oh, there's a nice tackle. A little bit dangerous tackle, but he made the tackle. Mendez sends it across. Oof, that was dangerous. Looks like they moved Zardes up front. Our midfield is exhausted. With the exception of uh, the one sub we made, Van de Castile, but our... We should be able to send the ball along to Ortega. There's Pomichol back to... Bailey gets it. Can he center it to Uloa? Is Uloa going to take a shot? Nope, nope, he's going to get tackled. All right, free kick. Ooh, Boca Negra is going to get a card here, maybe. Is it going to be red or yellow? Probably yellow, if anything. Yep, he gets the yellow. All right. Doesn't help us out much, but it's fun to see the other team get a yellow card. All right, here we go. Van de Castile with the shot well wide. That was the last effort. So here we are in penalties. So we're going to move Ortega in for Washington. I'm going to take him out of there. So there we go. There's our 11. Uloa Alcantara. Uh, Zimmerman, then Ortega, then... Um... Maybe we'll... F 
finish with Ortega instead of Zamora. Don't know that I want to put the rookie with six finishing there. Maybe even put him third. And we can finish off strong with Zimmerman and Ortega. You know, start strong with Uloa Alcantara. Then finish strong with Ortega, or Zimmerman and Ortega. All right. That's about as good as we can do here. It all comes down to this. Kind of the worst thing in sports. Kind of the best thing in sports are the penalty shootouts. Because you play all this time and you let something weird and extra determine the game. You know, it's... It's like ending a basketball game uh, with free throws or something. I mean, it's still a part of the... Oh, you Loa, our number one man. Our number one man shanks it out of bounds. Boateng finishes strong. It's not looking good. Not looking good, boys and girls. Here's... Zamora gets it in. Good job. Here we are. It's, we're down two to one. Why was Zamora second? I thought I put him third. Freighter with the easy goal. Boy, Gonzalez is not coming up strong on these penalties. He hasn't been close. Here's our third man. Are we, were we not allowed to play Ortega in the shootout? Oh, gosh. That's it. That's going to do it. we got to stop the next two. It's not going to happen. Nope. Wow. Hell, I told you penalties were not our strong suit, and that showed it off right there. For some reason, we weren't allowed to play Ortega. I don't know why. I guess that's a rule I'm unfamiliar with. Um, hold your head high. You played well, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I guess uh, we played too conservative. It comes down to it. You know, the conservative game was, was working so well in terms of holding L.A. down. But maybe we just played into their their strategy. Maybe they had the same fears of us as we had against them. Because I guess we were the leading goal scorer, goal scoring team in the league. So I think we did just fall into their trap. Summary-wise, uh, yeah, not great. Look at all the passes completed, though. Pomichol and Zamora, over 100 each. 90%, 92% completions for Acosta and Uloa. So, I mean, that part of the game plan worked. Just, uh, yeah, too conservative on our part. We should have gone after them, especially in the second half and uh, in overtime. But I guess uh, that's a decision I'll have to live with. Uh, yes, everybody wants uh, Alex Johnson, but he's not for sale at the moment. So there we go. That's the end of Dallas's season for season three. We took a step back this season, unfortunately. I thought we were going to take a big leap forward because we had all these guys coming back. Everybody was going to know their positions and be able to, you know, you know, gain all that experience that they had and, and play better. But I guess, I guess it's going to have to be another learning season for us because we didn't we didn't get any goals done this season in terms of in terms of what we want to accomplish for this save. We didn't get to the Champions League, didn't win the Supporter Shield, didn't win the Cup, didn't even get to the Cup this season. So I guess you could count this season as a failure. And uh, we'll come back strong for next season. So until then, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.